I hope you're doing well because today we have another journaling video and I'm super excited. So in my hands I have the new Sumi Umi stickers and these are the summer edition. So I really want to use them in my journal so I'm probably going to come up with three pages and I just can't wait to use these. Not to mention yesterday I happened to stop by Joanne's just out of a whim and they had a really cool sale so I managed to pick up a couple things that I feel like are going to help me today with my journaling pages and let me show you. So I managed to pick up three paper packs which were I believe like a dollar fifty or something like that. And there is actually really cute and interesting designs in here. And I can already see a couple of them that I feel like is gonna do really well with my journaling ideas. So very happy about that. Not to mention, I also picked up three packs of stamps, which I really like them because they're actually very small and they're not gonna take up a lot of room. And I feel like these are actually a really nice variety. So very happy with it. But yeah, I feel like the theme for this journaling is definitely gonna be summer because my stickers revolve around summer. So I feel like I have to come up with something that is giving off those vibes. And I think it's gonna be really cool. So I'm really excited and let's not waste any more time and get into the journaling. For my art journal, I use a Midori MD notebook with A5 paper. Before even starting, I wanted to flip through all the pages that I've done so far. And looking back at the stickers I created, I feel like I can see the improvements with each collection. That is very exciting for me. While I was opening the new paper packs, I stabbed my hand with the X-Acto knife. How unlucky. Be sure to be safe with pointy things, my darlings. Don't be like me. I went ahead and chose three pretty papers from the paper pack. I don't know what else to call them. <laughs> I also chose three plain papers that I think will complement the pretty paper and the stickers. I start by folding the papers and cutting them to size. I want the papers to be covering up as much of the white space as possible so it's less empty. I then use my Happy Planner Punch tool to help me cut the pretty paper. Honestly, I love this tool so much. It's so convenient when it comes to journaling. Washi tape is one of my favorite things in the world. The amount of colors and designs are limitless. I hope to one day make my own washi tape, but that's a dream for another day. A girl can dream, can't she? I like to use washi tape over the papers to help secure it even more. Since I use glue sticks, the paper tends to not stick so well. So having this extra security makes me very happy. Ah, and here is the Surfing Yumi sticker. Since I still have to film myself using the sticker for my Etsy shop, I decided to use some washi tape to help me place the sticker. When the time comes, all I have to do is simply remove the tape and use the sticker when I am ready to record my Etsy video. I hope you don't mind, but I have to work smarter and not harder. I tend to get very indecisive with my journal decorating skills, so a lot of the time I am readjusting my stickers and trying to find the perfect placement. It can be kind of tedious, but it's worth all the work. Sometimes I am amazed at how perfect some people are when it comes to their journals. It's almost like they make no mistakes. I do get kind of jelly, I'm not gonna lie, but it's okay, maybe one day I'll get there. These triangle stickers were meant to be used as a to-do list, but I decided to scatter them around and use them as filler. In the end, I love how the page came out. I think it shows Yumi's playful nature very well. Ah, what the heck. Let's add one more sticker. There. Now we can move on to the next page. When I journal, I like to keep the two pages cohesive with similar qualities. So I will be using the colored paper and the pretty paper to cover up most of the page, just like Yumi's page.
This page will belong to Sophie. Her design has undergone the most transformations out of all of my cat's designs. If you follow me, you would know that I struggle with getting her look right. And I do believe that this new summer look is a step in the right direction. I am curious if she will change again in the future, but for now I do love this new design. When decorating my pages, you might have noticed that I use a variety of sticker designs. I really enjoy mixing different designs together because I feel like it creates a more visually interesting page. What do you think? With the last sticker placed, here are the two pages complete. I am feeling great about how they turned out, and I am definitely feeling the summer vibes. So now let's go ahead and work on the last page. I wanted to try something a little different and decided to make the papers smaller compared to the other pages. I'm still keeping that theme, but just a little bit different. And here is Pumpkin's summer design. It is so adorable. I absolutely love it. And funny enough, this was actually the easiest sticker for me to make out of all the other summer stickers. One of the main reasons I like to use my own stickers in my art journal is not only for fun, but also to see how the stickers work. I test out every collection to make sure that they do hold up. When I did my last journal with me, I realized how much I did not like having laminated stickers in my journal. They made sense to me on my water bottle, but I did not like how they looked in the journal. And because of that, I started to think, what if someone is like me and doesn't like laminated stickers in their journal as well? So I created these stickers that are matte and meant for journal or planner use. If I never made that video, I don't think I would have created these matte versions. And here is the last page. It is more minimal compared to the others, but I think each one has their charm. I hope you enjoyed this journal with me and stay fabulous. Bye! <sighs> I just finished cleaning up my desk and look what I found. The stamps that I was so happy that I got and I ended up not using because it was hiding behind some of my stationery. I'm pretty sad. <laughs>